the Steno2 study enrolled 160 type 2 diabetics patients with microalbuminuria with the aim to compare the effect of a targeted, intensified, multifactorial intervention with that of conventional treatment on modifiable risk factors for cardiovascular disease. And the results at eight years were that not only there was a reduction in cardiovascular events, there was also a 39% reduction in the risk to progress to overt nephropathy from microalbuminuria, and also in the risk of progression of retinopathy, not uh, very much for peripheral neuropathy. After the eight-year study period, all patients were switched to the routine therapy. They were checked again five years later, although no more differences were seen between the two groups, except for the triglyceride levels, the difference in risk of diabetic nephropathy progression was maintained. So as far as nephropathy is concerned, of the initial 80 and 80 patients, there were 20 progressing to overt nephropathy in the initially intensively treated group and 39 in the conventionally treated group. Among the patients who were for eight years treated in an intensive uh, way, 25% progressed to ovarian nephropathy, despite optimal blood glucose, blood pressure, and cholesterol control. So this is the only study where, if you want, uh, residual risk was addressed. And to me, 25%, uh, which I believe is an underestimate because 20% out of the initial 8 is 25. But during the study, a lot of patients died. So I think that if you take that into account, it may be even more than 25. We don't know which are the factors involved in this progression. So one possibility is that other lipid components may be involved, such as uh, uh, low HDL, high triglycerides, which are often observed in patients with type 2 diabetes, um, or other factors that we don't know. 